And the truth is that in the early days, we, we didn't think of providing homes as the solution to homelessness. And here we are now, uh, where Housing First uh, is the prevailing response, uh, and it is the underlying philosophy, uh, not only for uh, the, the, the system that we are creating in Connecticut, but also for all national homelessness policy. Um, and, and so I think that's one of the major things. The other development over the years uh, was the recognition that um, you know, their homelessness is not all uh, one uh, type of problem, and it's a heterogeneous problem, right? It's not all, um, the, back in the day, the stereotype was a single adult male, Vietnam veteran, mental health substance use issues on the streets, and certainly that is a certain, uh, you know, a, a, a significant cohort of people experiencing homelessness, but uh, we also realize there's families with children. We like, realize there's people who are working, uh, some working full-time, uh, still experiencing homelessness. We now know uh, about the number of youth and young adults who are falling into homelessness, um, some of whom are uh, uh, because of, of, of poverty and, and lack of housing access, but many because of family conflict um, and because of their LGBT status and sexual identity, um, and uh, that, that's another dimension of homelessness. And so, and I think a second, second development other than housing first is the realization that we need a different structure to different folks, uh, and that we have a, a range of tools. And so what is important housing, I think, is a proven solution, particularly for those who have high needs. We've also learned that we can provide different types of, of assistance to people, um, short-term rental assistance, longer-term rental assistance, uh, and in some cases just help navigating uh, the housing market um, to provide assistance. And I think having those range of tools has been a really important uh, uh, second development in our efforts.